Hi, I'm Nick Thomas with InfoSec Sync. I am Kevin Cedeno with ISACA Huntsville. And we're here at the 10th Annual National Cyber Summit in Huntsville, Alabama. And to my right here, we have Ms. Sherilyn Coachman. She's a uh, HR specialist at uh, the FBI in Birmingham. Yes. Welcome, Sherilyn. Well, thank you for having me. So we're here to talk about um, the FBI's hiring process and what the FBI is looking for in candidates and how you can uh, be more involved in the FBI. So whatever you want to talk about, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here today representing the FBI, mm -hmm. and we're here talking about recruitment and different positions with the FBI, and what does it take to be employed with the FBI. Are, are you actually taking resumes over here? We do not take resumes, but we will certainly look at your resume, and uh, most of your resumes and your application you must apply online. Okay. okay. So uh, let's talk about some of the um, qualifications that it, uh, you know, that will be required. Yes. So we recruit for several positions with the FBI. One of which is the special agent position, which is an investigative position. We have over 240 violations that our investigate, our special agents investigate. Uh, so to be employed as a special agent, you must have a four-year degree. You must have three years of full-time work experience unless you have a degree in uh, computer science, uh, language, or engineering. All right. Um, and what about uh, disqualifiers? So some of our disqualifiers are that you must first be a, non, uh, be a citizen. So you must be a citizen. Uh, you cannot have a felony okay. against you. Um, you must be able to pass the drug test. So if you fail a urinalysis drug test, that is a disqualifier also. Also, um, default on your student loan. So. Okay, all right. So yeah. um, <laughs> let's say that someone wants to uh, prepare ahead of time before applying. Yeah. What will be some of the things that they should be looking at? So first of all, I would suggest that you go online, look at what those qualifications are. Just do a little bit of research. and. Like for some of the positions, or most of the positions they look for, we have our core competencies. So you want to make sure that you are able to speak, you're able to write, um, your leadership skills, mm -hmm. your initiative. Those are some of the areas that we look for uh, when recruiting applicants. Okay, what would you say um, for uh, high school students that are interested in the FBI and an FBI career? So high school students, we have you can apply for an honors internship position with mm -hmm. us, which you can start at your first year in college. Um, first year, first, second semester. It starts during the fall season. Uh, September, October is the time frame to apply for that position. Um, most students, when they're in their first year, they do not have their uh, transcript. So they must have their SAT scores or their ACT scores as well to qualify for the internship. So that, that is the beginning that I always suggest a high school student to start with and okay. look into the honors internship program. Okay. All right. So we um, obviously the special agent is the most public facing type of you know jobs yes. that exist for the FBI. But you know about two thirds of the FBI workforce is other type of positions, Correct. right? Yes. What other type of jobs are there? So there? we have intel analyst positions, language specialists, language contractors. Uh, we have uh, special surveillance groups. Uh, we have, we even have entry level positions for those persons who may be coming right out of high school. So we have positions for them as well. Uh, accounting technicians, forensic uh, accountants. Accounting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are just a few. And out of those, you know, which ones uh, do you consider critical at the moment? Critical computer science. Yeah, I must. The computer computer science is one of our critical needs right now, and languages. Language. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Any particular languages? Well, some of our languages are Arabic, Spanish, Urdu, um, Korean, Farsi. All right. All right. Um, so t tell me a little bit about the process. How long does it take? So at the beginning, they go online and apply. Um, if they're interested, if a particular office is interested in that person, they'll look at their background, look at their qualifications, and they'll 
contact them to interview them. After the interview, that's when the usually the background process starts. So you're talking about maybe three to six months that the entire background can take place. We're looking at things such as uh, we're going back to your school, interviewing mm -hmm. some of your instructors. Mm -hmm. We're also may interview some of your um, the students that were there during that time. We're going to do your employment checks, arrest checks, credit checks, things of that. So it takes a while. You have to have a polygraph examination and pass it, and you must be able to pass the drug urinalysis test, and you must have a personnel security interview. So all of that, it could take about three to six months to complete. So people should do their due diligence and get all that stuff ready, be prepared ready, for a, yes. a long period of time before they uh, hear something. Yes. Yeah. So um, when doing the background checks and you know, going back, like for example, someone who is a high school yeah. uh, student, um, what they're looking for is it uh, anything in, in character? You know, absolutely. They're looking at you know your character. Looking at you know, have are there anything that somebody may not want to rehire you they you know when they're doing your employment so they're going to check and say is this person eligible for rehire um so those are just some that they look at all right okay all right so, miss coachman um thanks for uh well, thank spending for some time with me. us thank yes. you very much thanks for thank staying you. in sync with okay. infosec sync thank you